The vegan community is pretty angry with me right now because I said, <laughs> sin of all sins, I said that I, I eat butter. I like grass-fed butter. Not, I don't eat chunks of it. I eat a little bit of it. And there's a video on the internet saying, you know, he's bad advice. I, my blood lipids are great. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, and sometimes I put it on a vegetable. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, I never said to consume butter in large amounts. But if you – dietary cholesterol is, is vital for hormone production. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, today we're going to be debunking a claim by Andrew Huberman. The claim is that dietary cholesterol is vital for hormone production. A lot of people still think that we need to eat cholesterol to stay healthy. Dietary cholesterol is, is vital for hormone production. Mm -hmm. First of all, we don't need to eat cholesterol. Every cell in the body produces its own cholesterol. The brain even produces its own pool of cholesterol. Our health does not depend on getting cholesterol from food. This is because it is not an essential nutrient. When we eat cholesterol, this is known as dietary cholesterol. Dietary cholesterol is found exclusively in animal products. Dietary cholesterol may raise cholesterol in the blood. Those consuming low amounts of cholesterol may experience greater rises in LDL cholesterol. There may be some individual differences in the response to dietary cholesterol as well. The evidence suggests that dietary cholesterol may increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, although less than saturated fat. Dietary cholesterol is not vital for hormone production, but eating products that contain cholesterol may increase our risk of cardiovascular disease. Cholesterol-containing products also tend to be high in saturated fat. Generally, it is seen that increased consumption of saturated fat results in increased all-cause mortality and cardiovascular disease. Heart disease is one of the world's biggest causes of death. Extremely low cholesterol levels have not been shown to be harmful whilst reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. Vegan diets devoid of animal products have no dietary cholesterol. The view of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, which has over 100,000 members, is that vegan diets are adequate for all stages of life. Vegans have no difference in circulating sex hormones such as testosterone compared to meat eaters. My blood lipids are great, thank you. <laughs> Regarding his lipid panel, it will be great to actually see some evidence. Ideally, an LDL cholesterol below 70 milligrams per deciliter and an LP little a of less than 30 milligrams per deciliter. LP little a is determined genetically and you should get it checked. LDL cholesterol is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease. The greater the exposure to elevated levels of LDL cholesterol across time, the greater the risk of cardiovascular disease. I like grass-fed butter. There was one paper that looked at the butter produced from mountain pasture grazing cows and that of conventional. The paper examined markers of metabolic syndrome and found no differences between the two. It doesn't seem that grass fed is healthier. However, the milk of cows fed grass may be higher in phytanic acid. Increased plasma phytanic acid may have specific LDL cholesterol rising effects something which we don't want. I'm pretty sure Huberman would not eat butter derived from dogs or humans. Butter is a word used to make us detach from the sentient beings which are being exploited to give us a little bit of pleasure. I like grass-fed butter. Not, I don't eat chunks of it, I eat a little bit of it. The number one reason to avoid butter is to avoid exploiting non-human sentient beings. Not, I don't eat chunks of it, I eat a little bit of it. A bit of butter is a bit of butter too much. Non-human mothers are seen as objects and in most cases have their child taken away before being eventually killed when they are no longer useful to us. The morally relevant trait in sentient beings is the ability to feel things such as fear, pain, happiness, etc. This is known as sentience. Veganism is about being against the use or killing of non-human sentient beings in situations where we would not accept the exact treatment of humans. If a human mother had the same treatment as a non-human cow, we would not accept that in any instance. This is why we need to abolish all use of non-human sentient beings. It ultimately comes from speciesism, which is no different than any other prejudice, such as discriminating based on race, sex, 
or culture. To simplify, speciesism is simply treating non-human sentient beings differently to us because they are not our species. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Please always fact check everything yourself. Keep on living every day to the maximum and see you soon for another video. Ciao.